What are we doing usual? Like, don't like. Was that my cue to shut up? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> no. No, right, run, let's go. You good? <laughs> Leave my marbles alone. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Smokey here, joined by... Hashtag it's Steve. And... <laughs> what up guys, it's David. <laughs> Thank you for not doing this. Well, I, I'm not actually going to do it, but jumping into the mic <laughs> and <laughs> screaming into it. <laughs> what was that? Last week's? Doctor Strange? Every week, <laughs> I think. But particularly last week's, I was like, I kept taking it down and it was, was not happening. Was really, <laughs> what do you mean? Be. You should know, you listened to last week's one, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, why are you so puzzled? Yes. Huh? Mm-hmm. I just couldn't remember. What was your favourite bit? Of Doctor Strange one? Yes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> when did it happen? This, I don't know. What? He's so confused. So he is really confused. What's going on? Yeah, no, I talked about it in the chat <laughs> because you had the um, movie news where you oh, just, cool. oh, just yeah, hung yeah. up on your brother. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> 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 you, Highlight of my week. <laughs> How does that sound as a podcast? Because I'm not listening to that back. How does it sound as an opener when we're pissing ourselves laughing? Oh, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's because I know the setup, but you just do them back to back, right? And I don't know how many people know that. Mm. That it's not like these are not separate episodes and separate days. They're kind of done in back. We've well, posted pictures of us sitting back to back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Jesus! See? Dad jokes. I got a dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's good. It's good. It's good. Well, today we're talking about. Are you sure? 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 Spider Man Homecoming. No, no choice now. Yeah, no there choice we go. Now. Well, we were trying to decide if we're going to talk about Spider Man Homecoming or we're going to talk about Game of Thrones. But you know, what? we're going to talk about both, just not on this one podcast. But Steve can only unfortunately be for here Spider Man Throne coming. Spider-Man throne comings. We could mix them in. Whoa. I wonder how confused people would be. You, you could have, like, Peter Lannister as, you know, <laughs> bitten by a radioactive Penis walker. Penis Parker. <laughs> Penis Parker. <laughs> that's, re- that's recording awfully loud again, it's isn't it? It's very loud, yeah. It's really very Sorry, loud. guys. <laughs> but I'll, I'll have to pull it down and post. But I'm just all excitable. As long as we're all this loud the whole way, or not <clears> this loud. Yeah. Well, pick. It's got to be one of them. I think we'll just see. <laughs> <laughs> That's all everyone's just sitting Yay. on the fucking fence. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Well, I'm still waiting on um, this can of Monster, the Doctor, kicking energy in. drink kicking in. <laughs> Someone's called the Doctor. The Doctor. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, my, it's, it's so good. Ooh, like yeah, I don't like that. That's a juice. premium feel can, that. Uh, isn't it just? Oh, that's uh, you feel the feel the can. Feel like feel like can. Oh, well, like, yeah, see, a, uh-huh. it's got like a, it's contours and stuff. Mm, right, that's, I do have expensive tastes sometimes. <laughs> yes, I do, <laughs> and that is probably the most expensive looking can. It's also the only one I've ever had of Monster. Well, you have, mate. I was going to say, have you mentioned <laughs> whether they because they don't sponsor us. Well, no, but don't buy their stuff because they don't sponsor us, because fuck them. <laughs> if you're from Monster, however, and you wish to sponsor a podcast, then, 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 not, then, then you're then probably not, not, not going to want to do us. Not yeah? fuck them. Yeah. But <clears throat> if you like a little bit of uh, real Rough talk and, oh, and, uh, and, and swearage, <laughs> uh, do you know I noticed today I've got two kind of ways of speaking. If I'm, I'm either going to be swearing through it, or I'll go extra posh. And throwing golly gosh darns. <laughs> oh gosh darns, that sounds yeah. fabulous. Well, I don't become a camp man from the 90s. Yeah, no, but that's... that's, <laughs> but, that's but, um, no, I like... Actually, no, you know, I, do, I, do you know what? I never thought about it. Until I you absolutely said it, do. You're right, because you know, it depends on depends on what one I'm listening to. And you either are like, yeah, fuck that, and fuck you, and fuck Probably this. Probably depends on the fuck moodies in. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. And then the next one, you're like, well, golly gosh darn, yeah, that, mm-hmm. that's perhaps awesome. I love that. Yeah. You know, just sensible and polite. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's because I've got some personality. <laughs> Ah, mm-hmm. not good. <laughs> no, not good. No, <laughs> see us. We're a person, not a label. But that—that's why I can do a podcast on my own because we're both there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you're not sure if, uh, if I'm being serious or not. And neither are you, folks, are you? I'd love that if you're like. So, what do you think? Well, fuck it. It was brilliant. You know, gosh darn, yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? That would be epic. Tough work. Could have done it during the split review. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that would be really people. good. <laughs> but uh, wait, wait. That would have taken a lot of effort, though. Yeah. Wait to turn up late to the party and tell them how they should have run their party, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Steve in 1950s. Kill Hitler. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why didn't we think of that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's Rebel on Steve Day week, clearly. <laughs> We've missed you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. House Rat. We've missed you. You're Mr. Anderson. <laughs> I think he was trying to do an impression of, yeah. Yes. I it, was, just met. it was not bad. It, it also was wasn't good. good. <laughs> <laughs> it just oh. it existed, you know? <laughs> For a fleeting moment. <laughs> like your acting career. <laughs> Well, that's harsh. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got no acting career, so that's all right. It's still to happen. What? I just hope it's fleeting, but high profile. High profile make yeah. make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I've got a get a lot of dick, uh, bitches, bitches. Spy <laughs> <fine> with that. <laughs> if you're looking for dick, the acting profession is the right one. <laughs> just on a side note here, right? Sidebar. He prefers Richard. Okay. <laughs> You've been in the acting profession to some degree. As a hobbyist, yes. I have also. Yes. Have you? No. No. Right. <laughs> no, I went and got a real job. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's why you can have an extension on your house. Whatever. Yeah. Steve's a professional audience member for comedy shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> they sit in front and centre and be like, pass on the wink and off he goes. <laughs> Away. Straight. Straight up gone. <laughs> Now, when I was in the acting profession, I noticed that there were a lot of men that were gay. Okay. Okay. But, and you're, you're, you're about to laugh because you don't know where I'm going with this, do you? Yeah, no, you're no, worried. No. Nervous laugh. Nervous, Nervous laugh. laugh. <laughs> but have you noticed that when you look at professional actors in the land of Hollywood, there's not that many leading men that are gay? That you know of. That you know of. Which makes me think that there's a lot of liars. It's, it's the old school Hollywood attitudes are still around whether they admit yeah, it or not. They? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could have a same, leading man who's, who's gay. It's the same with uh, <sighs> like the, the gender thing as well. It's still tough in that industry. Because yeah. it's a hard industry to break. Like if you've got people in a, say like a, a private sector company, they've got all the publicity, they've got the unions and stuff like that. You know, they, they've got the masses to support them and but when you're up at the top there and you're like wanting to be something and you've got an old school person who's basically in charge of your career and your life, you don't want to fuck about with that. So it's really hard for them to change attitudes. Yeah. And, uh, which is really deep and nothing to do with Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> well, a little, a little bit, actually. I, well, a little bit. I'm glad you said there that. there is an amazing amount of diversity in Spider-Man Homecoming. There is an epic amount of diversity in Spider-Man Homecoming. Mm-hmm. In some ways, I wonder if the Tried diversity is... Yes, because <clears throat> for my money, oh, by the way, this is obviously a spoiler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you ain't watched the film, you can just, well, you can just... Well, like, although, although it's, we, it's been out for weeks. Why have you not watched it? We did spoil it. I only managed it six hours ago. <laughs> we did spoil it a few weeks ago, remember? When you'd said, Joe... Oh, I read something off... off. Somebody or other <clears throat> had put about keeping it in the family or something like that, it's in diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it in the family. And uh, so we. we but that spot- wasn't true. That was actually incorrect. No, it wasn't. No, you're right. It wasn't. So her. wasn't her. No, she wasn't. You're right. <clears throat> she wasn't Liz. No. So it was incorrect information that was listed where I read it and where it was. Mm-hmm. You know, where I, heard I actually it. forgot about it. So when I seen it in cinema, I was yeah. like, oh yeah! I yeah, forgot about that. That's, no, because I know which one problem. Zendaya is. Hmm. Um, and I was like, she isn't the main love interest. And then when obviously you meet um, Liz, you meet Tombs. Oh, Tombs. Can't remember his first name now. Stone. <coughs> no, um, Adrian. Hmm? Adrian. Is his name Adrian? Adrian well, Tombs. He's in the comics. So is it Adrian? Exactly yeah, it's Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Yeah. Yo, Adrian. <laughs> That's the one. I did it. Um, <laughs> well, that was Arnie. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was like Arnie <laughs> Stallone. It's already had Stallone. <laughs> it's a dual personality. One doing one, one is doing the other. Could you imagine Arnie as a bad Don't guy make jokes. It's a serious problem, Steve. What? Don't make me... <laughs> <laughs> I just blew his mind. Could you imagine if Arnie had been a baddie in a Rocky movie? Bloody hell. 
he he could have been Rocky Five, like he, he was too. Big, was too small, you know. Oh uh, yeah, exactly. Here yeah. comes Arnie, <laughs> like Rocky Ten, the mountain. I've never seen Rocky Five actually. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no last. And I've always been told to never watch it because it's shit. Spoils. Yeah. Spoils. I, I, watched, I watched it once. But I think if you one, two, three, four, Balboa, Creed. Well, apparent. Well, I mm. think that even if you get a bad one in five. You should really watch it to get the full story because you're going yeah, to get I've six. I've seen it. Yeah. So, yeah. Five I mean, isn't... It's not great. It's, five's like a side story. Tommy, mm. gun. Yeah, five's not, a, five's not a Rocky film. It's like a it's like a side quest. You know, like when you play <laughs> Final Fantasy and you've got your main storyline and then you've got the, the little <laughs> shitty bit you're like, oh, this is going to be brilliant. And then it's just like, oh, that was anticlimactic. Back to the story. <laughs> and, and, and I got ten coins for it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, I do feel like I'm looking at Flash Thompson and I'm like, mm. Flash Thompson, Fla, Fla, Flash Thompson, Flash Thompson, <laughs> yeah. yes, Flash no, Thompson, Flash. these serial shagging shenanigans, <laughs> I've got to stop. No. Junior! <laughs> <laughs> Flash Thompson is meant to be the epitome of everything that is American. Yeah. You know, <laughs> tall, blonde, blue eyes, almost alien, um, <laughs> you know. High school job. Two legs. Total dick. The whole thing, right? Two legs. What? Well, he starts off with them. He does indeed. So he's meant to be he's all this. He's also a fucking war hero, so watch what you say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I could almost let them, <laughs> I could almost let them off with having Joe Mangina being him in the last film, because he is a big hunk of man that you'd think could be a jock. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure Joe Manjaniyo in the Tobey Maguire version. Can't remember who it was there. No, actually, no. He, he wasn't in the. Let's just oh, he was, in, he was in the Tobey Maguire version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Not the Garfield ones, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, I don't remember the Garfield ones. And and that's kind of who Flash Thompson is meant to be, but he was this kind of other nerd, yeah, who, like an annoying nerd who is also yeah. I feel not the epitome of. Like the American white hat yeah. hero, like everyone's meant to love Flash Thompson, think he's amazing. Well, what they wanted to do is they wanted to base it on what is the modern equivalent of a bully, and a modern bully in the American school system. It's Indian. It's, well, no, no, the, 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 the race kids. is irrelevant. It's a rich kid. It's a flashy, flashy rich kid. Mm. To show off. Yeah. Oh. So the thing is, so I feel yeah. it's ruled out any possibility of Aiden Venom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most yeah. definitely, yeah. he can't carry a film. Well, that's what that's the thing. I was looking at this kid like this guy can't be because he was good in that he wasn't likable. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he was also mm-hmm. way too small. It's not like he was mm-hmm. a big strapping lad. See, when he was yeah. driving the Audi, it was actually unbelievable. Like, not just oh, he's just a sport kid. It just wasn't credible. No, it wasn't credible. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't, I just didn't like the fact that they seemed to make flat like put this character in. I didn't know it was Flash when it, when they said oh Flash blah blah blah. They dropped the name in a couple of times, and I'm like. No, oh, no. Sure. can they just call? It, can, can, <laughs> just give him a different name. Just give him a different name. Yeah, Flash is meant to look like freaking Flash, Flash Gordon. Right? Death to Ming. Death to Ming. Mm-hmm. That's what you and want. And his followers, right? the Mingers. <laughs> <laughs> you and your dad, honestly, man. Honestly. <laughs> and then, obviously, <laughs> Michelle or call me MJ. Is also Hashtag, no one cared. <laughs> well, the thing is, that's not who MJ is either. No. Not even a little bit. They did confirm that definitely is an MJ. It was just it's a, not Mary it was Jane. Just a nod. It oh, was just a, it was oh just did a they confirm that? Yeah, yeah, yeah they came. Her name's Michelle. After. Because because she dropped it in, they waited until after people started watching the film, and then I want to see a writer or somebody at the studio or so, some exec anyway. Or so she's, in that she's also called MJ. Say. That just makes it confusing and stupid. Well, it was just more a little nod to the the MJ. Not it's not MJ that we know. And I don't think that I don't think they'll do her. They probably won't. Nah. They probably well, unless won't they get to MJ. number three. They might change their mind, you know, four years from now or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or maybe Zendaya's character of the not MJ MJ grows mm-hmm. into a different version, but yeah. I, I don't know. Like, well, have you seen her in the promotional pictures? Yeah. See, the she film, had like, she's, she had red hair in, in uh, I would say so a couple of pictures, she was towards red than what she was in the film. I mean, she was kind of, I want to say dowdy in the film, that's maybe wrong, because she had that kind of indie... Well, I think she was meant to be kind of like... Alternative. I kind of yeah. got this, this, this like, vibe that she was alternative, fuck the system. Yeah. She was 
probably vegan. I'm not trying to be what? funny <laughs> or offensive, yeah, but she was probably. How, how, how do you know if someone's social vegan? Social justice warrior. That's well, what I'm talking about. Actually, she probably wasn't vegan because she never told me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jokes, folks. <laughs> just jokes. I was vegan for an entire week, and I liked it. The only reason I couldn't keep it up is because I actually can't have too high fiber a diet. Oh, your turds float out the toilet. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, <laughs> just hit the roof. Oh, I, I float. And the shit hit the fat. Right, got you. <laughs> I float too. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I would, I would go with it, and I actually believe a vegan diet or a sort of a basis of that will be the future of. I'm going to stop talking now. What is where are we at now? Well, I'm trying to think how we got on to that. Oh, because of what MG looked like. Yeah, so, yeah. Yes. Well, not MG. Oh, we, the don't have, we don't. We don't have the the, the <laughs> resources to feed everyone this ungodly amount of meat. Yeah, true. Um, so, and I, I don't believe that. Um, Go cool. for the Snowpiercer solution. If you'd watched it, oh, it would make sense. Moving on. No, I've not seen it either. I oh, just need to. Tilda Swinton, Chris Evans, Jamie Bell, um, Jeffrey. John Hart, sorry. Well, John. Until it comes on Netflix or someone gives me a shot of the DVD. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much basically. it. Basically. <laughs> Fair point. Moving on. <clears throat> Moving on. So, I didn't like. I didn't like the Flash. Mm-hmm. I didn't like him being called Flash at all. There's nothing about him that was Flash. Mm-hmm. And that slightly annoyed me. I, I thought the character was a good foil for being a high school dick. Mm-hmm. You know, but also I looked at him and thought, you'd get your ass bullied, like. I, in the UK, anyway. <laughs> no, but... but whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. Nearly, no, but you know what I mean? Like, he's, not, he's not the sort of kid that does the bullying. He's the kid that gets bullied. Like mm-hmm. He's on the math league team. Mm-hmm. But, but then, what, it was never really said, but I presume the school they were at was the school for the gifted. Um, I didn't see a bald guy in a wheelchair ooh. zipping around. Ah, uh, uh, I set you up for it. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? Like, it, it seemed to be that they were all really like super into being nerds. Yeah. And no one walked around bullied them at school. Yeah, I suppose actually all the predominant cast were part of that. Were super team. nerdy. And they went to the academia, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The debating club. And they went yeah. they went to the homecoming dance and it's not like anyone slapped them on the head, nerd, or anything. Like, Slushed them. Yeah, no slush, nothing yeah. like that, right? And yeah. we, were doing, we were doing 80s tributes throughout the film. So you think it was more a prep school? I think it was more, well, that's what that's what Tim said at one point. That. No. But he's on a scholarship. Of course. He's as soon genius. as I said it, yeah. Yeah. He'll be on a score. Smart but Maybe. lazy. Brilliant but lazy. That's yeah. who said that? Brilliant but lazy. Parker, the teacher. Connor student. Heard about you. Brilliant but lazy. Is that oh, that's Doctor Octopus? Second film. Oh, really? mm-hmm. oh, I was thinking of the guy who thought was eventually going to be the lizard from the original. Oh yeah. Yeah, Doctor Connor's with his arm missing. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, fucking hell, man. But but it, it, so it, it, was, but it was Doc Ock who said Yes. The quote, because yeah, yeah, that, that was set up nicely, but then instead they just introduced a ton of new villains and fucked up the third film. Mm. I think it would have just been nice if it had been Lizard. Mm. Uh, mm. Was it the, the, the Andrew Garfield ones were quite good. Mm-hmm. Sorry, were good the too. first one was good. Yes, that, the that second one time, has... That was my favourite Stan Lee cameo, when the Spidey and Lizard are battling in the library. That's amazing! That, can't remember that is the best that is one. Brilliant. You can't remember it. I think we should pause it and you should watch it. <laughs> it is, it is po- Do you know what? It might still be the best camp. It's when Stanley's got the headphones on, he's just tidying up the library, but in the background they're fighting away. Mm. And that, it's actually really cool. Uh, it's so funny. <laughs> uh, so apart from, apart from Flash and MJ <laughs> being, a, being a problem. Let's for go me. on to stuff you like. Right. Two things you like, okay. Well, let's start with the obvious one Tom Holland as Spidey. Best, <sighs> best incarnation of Spidey ever. Yep. Yeah, Simple. It. Perfect. Well, yeah, quite perfect. Well, it's close to perfect. Okay, you're saying perfect. Yeah, I mean, it works. Oh. Abs- it, it works. But let's, let's change that. It, I it works said fine. when Andrew Garfield yeah. done it, I said that he was the he best. He was better than Maguire. And the way they mm-hmm. mixed the Ultimate Universe and the Amazing Universe was done really, really well. And he, I thought, as a combination of the two, he was spot on. Mm-hmm. Um, the wise cracking. Yeah, yeah, the wise cracking. The slightly more confident, like than Tom Holland's version. Mm-hmm. Um, I I quite liked. I thought he was great, but then Holland and this film just mm. captured the essence of young Spider-Man, excited by his powers. You know, it's he's going out there, he's mucking about. One of the things I loved was when he was just webbing about, and he he kept fucking up. He like he zipped for a crane, 
but the distance to the ground was a lot shorter than the distance to the crane, so he just dumped to the <laughs> yeah, ground yeah, below. Yeah. <laughs> or when he's at the party and he runs out and goes, Whoosh! and just webs my day. He's like, oh crap. And he has to just leg it across the field. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just, just like running for ages. Yeah. The amount of laughs I had watching that film. Yeah. yeah. I, just, yeah. It was almost until the first three quarters of the film was just, you, you were getting a good laugh every sort of yeah. three, five minutes. But I don't feel any of it was like forced, forced humor. No. Yeah. Whereas, whereas like a, a little bit of Guardians 2. This is exactly what I said. Think, this is exactly yeah, what I said yeah. to Duncan earlier. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of Guardians 2. You almost like, because we talked about it on obviously yeah. that one. Um, the bit too much Drax. I am good. You were just shoehorned yeah. and then fucking I don't, choke him on the don't humor. Feel, yeah, you don't feel that any of what was in Spidey Homecoming was really for It felt no, like whoever was much. in charge of the humor had been reading the internet for the last 10 years and seeing all the jokes that people have made about Spidey over the years. Because mm-hmm. there's some great gifts like. Um, if Spidey lived in Kansas or something like that, or Spidey in the real world, and he runs along the rooftop of his house, fires off a web, and just lands in the field because there's nothing about for miles, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> so they played on these jokes in the film, and it, I, I just thought it was. Well, it was good that you saw that. What? The fact that, you know, like, he's meant to be in a big city. Mm-hmm. Like, how useful would he be in a big open ground territory? That's it. Mm-hmm. He, he, mm-hmm. Is, he has to be in the city, basically. He's got to be in the trenches. Mm. That's how that. Then that's what he says at the end of the film. Mm. Excuse me. Um, in terms of what I felt about um, Tom Holland, I thought he was, as you guys said, fantastic. And I've watched this stuff on YouTube, the Tom Holland stuff, where he's doing like parkour and gymnastics I've heard about and everything. He's, like, a, he's a trained. Is it trained gymnast or trained he's, 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 ballet yeah, dancer yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah. I, Billy Elliot. I want to say he was in Billy Elliot. I'm having total deja vu. Did you talk about this in a podcast once already? Maybe. I'm a major <laughs> deja vu. I snuck, <laughs> I snuck yeah. into your house last night. And went <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but I tripped over this fucking puppy and had to run away. <laughs> We've already had the conversation with the puppy. Guard dog. <laughs> puppy. Guard dog. <laughs> so fucking, fucking and the little pink noses. Whoa, jeez, man! Keep it together. Sorry, yeah, keep it together. <laughs> so Tom Holland was is just he's he is almost perfection. And there's only one thing that worries me. You set the bar so high at the beginning. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do not know. Like, how is he going to do anything other than this? It's like oh, Robin, him, his yeah, like him, Tom so, Holland. Oh, I think he will. I think he'll. No, no, I mean, yeah, but mm-hmm. but I mean, if you you if got... Jamie Bell can be Ben Grimm, <laughs> has anyone ever watched that yet? No. What the Fantastic Four remake? No, I've not. I want I want to see it. I want to watch it as so well. But, but anyway, right, yeah. I, I've missed it. Um, I don't. If it, I think it'll come on Netflix at some point. Yeah, hopefully. I, I think it'll pay Amazon. you to watch it. <laughs> Even better. Watch this film and receive a month's free Netflix. Yeah. I'd do it, man. I would do it. I'd um, put it on and go do the dishes. <laughs> I think got married, he's too Jamie iconic. Did. What? Kamara and Jamie Bell got married last weekend. Oh, what, Sue Storm and Ben Graham? Uh, yes. Ah. In real life. They've been dating for two years. Ah, okay. Sidetrack. <laughs> so she's got Kate Bell. Kate Mara Bell. Huh? Hi there. Hi. Hi. So. If you think of Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> and he's like fifty, and he's just he's just got that role of a lifetime. Hmm. But he's had to, he's had time to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Like go to jail. <laughs> like go to jail. He had managed to fit that in as well. You know, he's had a. He's I had, bet he fitted he, in a few things. He's in jail lived too. a life. <laughs> Whereas Tom Holland's hit the iconic role Boom. straight out of the he's gate, what, like Twenty Daniel Radcliffe and oh, yeah. Mark Hamill. Yes. Ooh, yeah. And I think it'll be hard yeah, to see him in, in some other role. And also, yeah. he is very small. I, you're right, and I can't small, imagine. He's Mark. small than um, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Who's and he, all, who's he's not. Small. Who's a short man. <laughs> so, how you. He can only play a young young kid type character mm-hmm. for a while. So Saying that, Mark Hamill managed to play Luke Skywalker as well, and, you know, as well as the Joker. So. Yeah, but I think most people would consider that Mark Hamill's career has not been... Now they look back and go, oh, wow, it was, it was great, whatever. <laughs> but realistically, yeah, yeah. You they would know... consider Mark Hamill's career to be a bit of a failure. And I'm yeah. sure he's felt... He was a better man for a while. Hmm? He wouldn't appear in any Star Wars stuff for anything. Like he basically was Luke Skywalker until 1983, 1984 or whatever, right? I think it was 83 in Return of Jedi, I, can't remember, but I could be wrong. And then 
he managed to get into the, doing the, he did like the Giver once I think right um, which is like a manga of like yeah yeah okay. robot live action thing, thing yeah. Yeah, yeah he was he was in that he was and in then, the Flash TV series in the nineties but he was only doing like a couple of wee bits and pieces hmm. and then he was basically a voice actor from early 90s until about three years ago mm-hmm. and doing the conventions thing so he's he's actually had not had the career he should have had no. yeah. or could have had I think and, so you mean you and think, he's still you not think, getting the roles you think Holland could do the same see I potentially because he's, he's so small he and, he, and he's so iconic as Spider-Man so perfect now I'm not saying it's not like he's going to have range mm-hmm. people might find it hard to take him luckily he, it's happening now because people can time. be in TV and they can be in films. It's yeah. not like if you go on a TV, that means you're a failure. Or if you can't yeah. make films, that means yeah. that you're... You know what I mean? It's not yeah. like that anymore. And the but thing he's got going for him right now is he's... Like you're saying, he's small. He goes away. He bulks <clears> up. <throat> he comes back as a lead action hero. <clears throat> lead action hero at five foot four. It's doable. Well, let's talk about the bulking up then. So Chris Evans, right? Mm-hmm. He obviously has had quite a transformation in the yep. last, say, decade. Because he was small and... Fantastic Four. He was the pretty boy. Type he was character, ripped, wasn't he? yeah, but yeah. he was small. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And look at him now. Mm-hmm. He so, is. Yeah. yeah, he hasn't got the height, but studios can work with that. You know, you can work around. You can work they can around. work around that, but he is very, very small. Just cast small boy. Okay. Him look big. I suppose. Yeah. As, I'm, that's one thing I'm worried about. People. Yay. I, I, that's one thing I worry about. You're broke. You're broke. Get cast in Hollywood. <clears throat> no. Okay. Try now. <laughs> you've, you've lost. You're, you're they afraid. would be like, wait, 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 wait. Is your brother David Stobie? <laughs> Do you have his number? <laughs> We've been searching this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hard to find, apparently. You know, there's so many David Stobies in the world. Go on, tell us how many there are since you know. I th- no, I, I don't know. I think there's two. So What? How do no. you know that? Of course I've Googled my fucking name. <laughs> There's not only two David Stobies in the whole world. Google David Stobie. I've only ever found. I don't know if there is actually. It's a There's very, at least two Stephen House rats. Is there? Yeah, some yeah. American professor dude. And the other and guy. Me. Yeah. And you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's my only my only slight worry about about Tom mm-hmm. is that he might have hit the iconic role out of the park in his first big role. It's not um, his first big role. To most people, <laughs> yeah. he just came out of nowhere. So he was interviewed uh, back in 2013. I was reading this on IMDb earlier. Um, I did do a little bit of prep, not much though. But okay. I retained this one. Um, he was interviewed back in 2013. So he would only be uh, about 16 or something like that. And they were talking about what he'd want to do after this film. He was promoting. I can't remember the name of the film. He's like, "Oh yeah, no, I'd like maybe maybe do like an action or a superhero movie or something. Uh, I don't know, like if they do uh, maybe if, maybe if they redo Spider Man, if they recast Spider Man, I'd do that." He called his own role four years ago. That's pretty cool, actually. It's five foot eight. He's taller than me. I could hold an action. Role. He's bullshit! Is he five foot eight? He's five foot eight. So if he's five foot eight, I'm six foot two. Tony, Tony, Robert Downey Jr. must be almost six foot tall. That means Thor is six foot seven. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Well, this comes back to what Steve was saying about them working it. Yeah. And you know, RDJ has got lifts in his but, shoes. But yeah. Tom Holland is not five foot eight. I <laughs> do not think that. It says so on Google. Robert Downey Jr. is five foot nine. Mm-hmm. They're all short, but mm-hmm. slightly taller than me. Chris Evans is. 1.83 metres. I'm five eight. Maybe my height. Really? That he's not. He's that short. Who? Yeah, Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Six he, foot. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, six he's foot on the button. But I don't. But he can be, because I've because I've seen Thor with CM Punk, <laughs> and CM Punk's a lot shorter than Goldberg. Chris Hemsworth is six foot three. I find that hard to believe because I've seen him stand That's beside. Google. Must be true. <laughs> Okay, so that's the internet means, man, and it's pure truth. So when he stood beside <laughs> CM Punk, that would, and they're the same height. CM Punk make it become six foot three. Yeah, he's at least three inches shorter than Goldberg, who's maybe six foot four, who is the same height as me, who I am six foot two. So I call bullshit <laughs> on all this, or all your fucking midget ass heights. It's a conspiracy. I'm definitely five seven. Right. I'm a quarter if you go by the official measurement. And I'm five eight. Okay. 
Anyway. I say official measurement oh, by oh. a health check company. What came to my company and did a health check and said I had only 14% body fat, which I was... Did it? Was it 14? I sent you. Yeah, I'm sure 14. Yeah. Or 16. Maybe I'd be at least 4 0. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Plus that. <laughs> oh, what <laughs> up? Whoa, man. Anyway, yeah, all I'm saying that's is. That's the vet. All I'm saying is that I don't. I, I think he, he he's almost too fucking good at this yeah. role. Yeah. And I worry that. I hope he doesn't pay a penance for being. Amazing. Yeah, I'm Straight sure away. he'll cry into his millions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but people. Yeah, he's going to be done. He's going to be done well. He's he's Marvel contract or Sony, whatever. Twenty he's year old, and you're like working with the Five top. Deal. You you're imagine being at twenty deal. and you're at the you're at mm-hmm. the top. Yes, of I can't imagine. Basically. I spend all my life imagining these things. And yes. I said, now, where did I see this? I don't know if it was on a podcast or if it was telling somebody about it. It's about he. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was during the Civil War one that he screen tested with Downey Jr. Yeah. So the last the last few people who were in the running for it screen tested with Downey Jr. and then separately with Chris Evans to see who worked best, who had the best chemistry and whatnot. And Chris Evans was like, he's uh, the one kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, well, Tr- Evans was the first one to congratulate him on Twitter. Uh-huh. I, think he, I think he almost broke it. I don't know if it was yeah. how official it was, but it was Evans. Um, welcome Tom Holland, 96, whatever it was, to the Marvel world. Something like that. Yeah. I think you told me that Two oh. weeks ago, we watched yeah. the Civil War one. Yeah. Civil War one. yeah. Did Remember you that. see the Civ- the Infinity War leak that came out? Somebody mm. was editing video footage, and it's really hard to make out. But one of the it's just an image, mm-hmm. and it's Doctor Strange flying up to Spider Man, and it's got subtitles along the bottom. And Strange is just saying, "Parker, save them. They're not dead yet." But you see Spider Man's suit, and it's the one. From the end of the film. Oh wow! Yeah, the the super oh, high tech with the blue, right. the blue over the shoulders and stuff like that. Oh, interesting. What was your take on that? See, I liked it because it was close. It was I think very it was close to that video to, game. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and it was kind of I had hints of Iron Spider in it because for a second. When I first seen it, I was like, holy fuck, they've done the Iron Spider, and then it wasn't. I was like, all right, fine, fucking hell. Thank God, because I hate Iron Spider. <laughs> you meant to. You were meant to hate it because it betrayed him. Hmm. Did it betray him? Yeah, it's the reason that he got beaten within an inch of his life and Punisher saved him from Jack O'Lantern and... Oh, of course, so it was, yeah. I just can't remember who else. Cause but Pun- they, you, they wouldn't have wanted you to hate the suit from the beginning when they, they conceived it. No, but in hindsight, you meant I think to hate I th- it. In hindsight, you meant to hate it, but <clears throat> when I first saw it before, before I read Civil War, I was like, that suit sucks. Mm-hmm. It was too much like Iron Man. I know it's because yeah. Iron Man made it, but yeah. so the suit at the end, I was yeah. kind of like, I like the gold trim and everything. Like that. It looks like proper, like it's just a souped up version. A souped up version. Yeah. But what else could you really put in that fucking thing? The amount of tech that he had well, in the suit as exists yeah, anyway. Everything. It was crazy. Yeah, it was brilliant. I loved that. Uh, it was great. Why would he just off, make him be able to fly? When he was um, when he was <laughs> trying to take them on. At the gas station or whatever it was, and it's like, uh, do you want to? Was it full assault mode or something like that? Yeah, go for it. Do you want instant kills or, or one hit kills? No. Wait, wait, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Bad, Karen. And then it was like, what was some like, what, what, what webs do you want to use? And the taser webs. There are five hundred different yeah. types of webs. Yeah, Which one like, do you want to use? Oh man, this is awesome. Uh, yeah, all the way through. Oh, it was G. I thought that was really clever. Uh, what Interrogation did mode was basically them ripping on Batman, right? Yeah. Right. Jennifer, Jennifer with Connelly. the little nod to Miles Morales carry on <laughs> Sorry. We'll, we'll come back to that in yeah no oh, I was about to his belt. so Jennifer Connelly voiced the suit alright did she right. yeah who's married to Paul Bettany who voices Jarvis ah whoa I thought I was brilliant when I read that one I was like that is actually awesome Visionette in the next film yeah <laughs> <laughs> with another Infinity Stone in her <laughs> in her noggin I think it was you that told me a couple of weeks ago that Robert Downey Jr. and, and Mr. Tomei were an item in the 90s. Yeah, and yeah. You, can, you can tell they're putting some of that flavour in there, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's I think from, from the... Certainly in Civil War, when they were chatting in, on the sofa. See that chemistry, apartment. right? Yeah, yeah, it was a good mm. look. But no, I, did you know the Miles Morales hint in there? When he's doing the interrogation mode, no? Do you know who Miles Morales is? Danny Glover. No. Donald Glover, sorry. Still no. Sort of. He was. Everyone thought it's he not was. Him. I know, but everyone thought he was going to be. Ah, a, right, okay. cast. But do you know who he is in the comics? Is what I mean. He's the. Um, he's the. What's the word I'm looking for here? This the alternative Spider-Man. Just go with or, or Ultimate. Ultimate. Yeah, Ultimate that's Spider-Man. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's he, it. Yeah. He replaced Parker after he was killed by a Goblin. Mm, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, so his Donald Glover played a character called Aaron Davis, uh-huh. who, who is also known as Bally's Morales's uncle. I don't know who he's also known as. The, is that the Prowler? Could be. Oh, I was reading I that thought, on, I I thought, thought, thinking thought, today. Whoever, wherever the character was, was meant uh, to be on Prowler. Who is uh, he? Father what? to Miles Morales? I don't know now. In the a, in maybe an Ultimate Universe. Cause yeah, I think it was an Ultimate one. Because yeah. Prowler works with Spider Man, normal Spider Man, in Amazing Universe. But Prowler is he kind of like the Black Black Panther? I can't remember what he looks like. He was working with Parker recently, but he, I think he died. Anyway, in the <laughs> Ultimate Universe, Sam Davis's nephew is Miles Morales. Right. Okay. And so he's like, hey, I don't want these guns in the city. I've got a nephew who lives here. Mm. Almost look at the camera and wink. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So okay. that was a little bit, a little mm-hmm. bit of geek out. I like the voice really part. Good nods. The, the whole voice part. The that whole was hilarious. Scene was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you never done this before, have you? <laughs> and he's like, "You're a bad man. You want to stay there for uh, two hours." I was a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> he's just running away. It's just, it's just so it's, funny. It's pure Parker. That's the thing. It was pure. It's like it was like the, remember the cartoon of Spider Man we used to watch. Yeah. Yes. As kids, right? Um, and Even that Spider Man isn't as Peter Parker as Tom Holland. <laughs> Well, maybe he's got a bit more of the science factor in him than this mm. Tom Holland, and he is bigger. Yeah, he's older. Yeah, he is older. You mm-hmm. know, like Tom Holland's maybe fourteen here, and I think that's why man's meant to be eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Don't talk back to me when the grown-ups are talking. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's where we're going with this. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, I'll remember. No, no, you carry on. Oh, he's getting yeah. offended now. I'll remember. I'll send you images of aliens made up of images of aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy! No. <laughs> I am so lost. <laughs> you guys want some? Is it the energy drinks? Is it's the energy drinks. Is, is, is it, is it, is I'm smelling that premium a, can and I'm... <laughs> it's because I've got a hard one. <laughs> yeah. You're out of the loop. I'm finally awake for the first time today. <laughs> I've been I've been asleep all day today. That's what I feel like. I've just been a zombie all day. Ready? <laughs> but you've seen Spider Man. I, I know. I love did, it. Um, okay, so Spidey then. Yeah. Did you like the fact that they <clears throat> didn't do any origin stuff? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. They dropped Absolutely. it in at times. They, they yeah. like. Can Couple I get bit by this? Yeah. Can I get bit by the spider? No, it's mm. dead. Just little things like that. Just like oh yeah, because do you shoot Venom? Like he was basically. The exposition guy, sort of. Mm. What Ned? His pal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought he was cool. I, I like. No, he was cool. But he, yeah, he was cool. But is, I, he, is he in the comics? I don't. I've never seen him to be I in the comics. I think he is. I, I, I've yeah, not read thing? any. I think oh, he's I like an Ultimate or something like that. Yeah, I think he's from the Ultimate Universe, but I could be totally wrong. I, I haven't read enough Ultimate Universe to know, so I could be totally wrong. So it's Ultimate Universe, like the. Like the culturally appropriate version of Spider Man. No, it was. It was like, <laughs> no, it, the, the whole idea. Well, well, at, one, all, at one point, all food groups were represented. All food groups? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had dairy in the lead character. Yeah. Oh, you had chocolate. Right, um, no, so. you, you had. Yeah, and you, you, had, you had Hispanic, <laughs> and Zendaya, and you had Indian, and then you had Chinese, right. and you had mm-hmm. black, and then you had so white. So was Ned your Native American? Oh, I thought he was Chinese. Well, no, Principal Kenneth Choi, which you called rightly, because yes. I've read about it. Mm-hmm. So, Kenneth Choi was in First Avenger as one of the Howling Commandos. Because remember, they made the joke about the Chinese guy, and they went, I'm you're, American, I was born lost. in blah, blah, blah. I have no first, idea what's first, happening right, right now. First Captain America, yeah? Yeah. Dum Dum dug in these Howling Commandos. Yeah. Yeah, right. One of the guys in there is Chinese looking. Okay. okay. He played the same actor, plays the principal at the high school in Spider Man. Okay. Oh right, okay. Kenneth Choi. He called it. He said to me, he says like he was a he was in the that that's the same guy that was in um what do you call it? First Avenger. Uh, yeah, and I was like, No way, really? Um, and actually so I was reading about it today, yeah. <clears throat> but also, which I didn't see when I was watching the film, he in 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 principal oh, in principal Moriatas, which Moriatas is the same name as well. Has a picture of the, of the Highland Commandos. Does he? In his office. So so that, I mean, like, I, then. Granddad. The two generations. I said, but yeah, because no, no, I said it was really be... cleverly done actually, nice. and, and that's how you can recast the same actor. Like, 
is for a different part. He's, he is actually, actually. Yeah, it's Principal Morita, and he's Jim Morita in First uh, First Avenger. Yeah. That was very clever. Kenneth Choi's Spider-Man role is his grandson from Captain America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Very well done. Also, what was there in the school? I'd never seen it, but I was reading it. There is pictures in the school of Howard Stark. Yes, I noticed that. Bruce Banner. Uh, I didn't notice Bruce Banner. And somebody else. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Was it not Hank Pym, no? Could have been. It was definitely Howard Stark. I noticed that at one point. Yeah, um, which I thought was quite clever because again, it's like tying little nods in. There's loads of just you, little. Did little you notice? Bits that you actually, that backs up. That backs up your. Uh, that backs up your gifted theory for the school, because Stark wouldn't have gone to any normal school. He would no. have gone to a, a fucking clever clog school as well. Absolutely. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm sure. I mean, they had the special. They had the special. The emblem that they had for the school wasn't like a fucking school emblem. It was like the world and shit. You know, like mm. that's. Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, I mean, he wouldn't be able to go out with, like, the girl, the hot older girl, unless he was, unless she was a super nerd, and she's, like, really popular as well. Like, it was definitely a school mm-hmm. for the gifted. Mm-hmm. And he just happened to be... Ultra gifted. Ultra gifted. And he was even, he was busy doing all this other stuff, which he was always calling See? it the Stark Initiative or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. In the comics... Parker's IQ is actually equivalent to Tony Stark, if not better. He's just not as focused as Stark. Right, okay. It's, it's how he's played out, because he's out hacked Stark a few times in, like, tech and things like that. He he hacked, like, suits and things. Mm-hmm. Where's, yeah. where's uh, Reed Richards on it? Top of the scale, pretty much. Higher than Stark. Because he can stretch Dude. his brain. Right, okay. He can physically grow his brain um, to power himself faster, basically. Okay, so if you've got Stark, Reed Richards, and he's got the Peter Council Parker, of Reeds as well, huh? Council of Reeds, have you oh, heard about that? Yeah. So you can go off into this like dimension and meet up with all the other Reed Richards and chat to them. <gasps> so it's like some of them are the the multiple cleverest people ever, and they're all just riffing off each other, so you can solve stuff. Some yourself. of them are total dicks as well, like right? because mm. they're all there's got to be, be at least one super villain in the bunch. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, probably. So <laughs> out of them three, so Reed, so we got Reed. Peter Parker, uh, Tony Stark, Hank mm-hmm. Pym, mm-hmm. and Banner. 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 Who, 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 how would you rate them in terms of intelligence? Have you got an answer for that? I will find. You're about to find it. I'll see yeah. if it's but, we'll while you do it. this. I'd also wouldn't mind <laughs> knowing where Victor Von Doom would lie in that actually. Ooh, yes. But um, he may be super intelligent as well. I don't. I don't feel like Hank McCoy's in that level. But maybe, mm. maybe on genetic mutation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it depends on how many names we want to... Top 10 mm-hmm. smartest Marvel humans. Oh, okay. Oh, here oh, we go. Bada so bing, bada boom. This is by Comic Vine. This, yeah, this is by Google another it. website. Google so it. what they're saying is, number one is Reed Richards, mm-hmm. which we'd say. Number two is Doc Doom. Mm-hmm. Number three is Hank Pym. Four is Hulk. Five is Spidey. This is quite a recent mm-hmm. list because mm-hmm. that's modern Spidey's mm-hmm. outfit. Yeah. Huh. Um, six is Chal- T'Challa. Really? Yeah, no, he's meant to be really clever he's, as well. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the, well, the, the Wakandan right? technology. Okay. You know, it's all cutting edge. Seven is Stark. Mm-hmm. And eight is Beast. Nine is Amadeus Cho. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally yeah. awesome Hulk. Interestingly, he has always been labelled as the seventh smartest person in the world. Possibly because in the current well. world. Yeah. Hulk is dead and uh, Mr. Fantastic's gone. Oh, okay, well, that's that would leave. Oh, yeah, that's okay. interesting. Nine, yeah. And, and then, then who's that? Doc Ock. Oh, wow, he's oh, dressed yeah. like Spider Man. That's very, very, this is very modern because that is current Doc Ock. Mm-hmm. Very current Doc Ock. Do you want to know why he's like that or will I leave it just now? Yeah, I, I want to know why, why he's got why he's dressed like Spider Man with Hydra in the background. His he yes, so he developed the ability to transfer his conscience and yeah. he put it into Parker's body. Yes, his body he switched it so Peter Parker ended up in Doc Ock's thing, yeah, yeah. and then there was like three issues or, or two or three issues of like Peter Parker in Doc Ock's weakened, frail body trying to get his body back, mm-hmm. and you think he's about to do it and at the last minute he doesn't and he dies. So Doc Ock is the new superior Spider Man. Mm. But eventually things get too much and he actually lets, there's still a little bit of Parker inside the body, he actually lets Parker take over the body again and disappears. But he's got consciousness in a robot. 
And so basically, in the modern stories, he's used Jackal's technology to create a new body, um, a clone, because, you know, a, the Jackal's always into his cloning and stuff yeah. like that, um, creates a new body, and then puts his consciousness into this new body, but he creates his body based on Peter Parker, because he liked being Superior Spider-Man. <laughs> and what is Superior Spider-Man? What's the difference between powers? Uh, he was Spidey, he was Peter Parker's body, so he had the same... But he used his tech and his brain much more efficiently. He created Parker Industries, which gave him the means to develop better tech. To And he used his villainous ideas. And he, he started actually being a good guy. But for his own purposes, for his own gains, basically, like that. And right. So he set up what's modern day Peter Parker, who is the CEO of a massive company. He's replaced Stark Industries, basically. Um, as the the big company because Stark Industries is it's still there it's in financial difficulties though really? why? because uh, cause stuff I haven't read so much of that to be honest but Stark well for a start Stark's in a coma um, oh right so um, and he's just never about basically so it's weird that Stark's like 7th on the list or 6th on the list there yeah he, he's just the one who brags about it or he's the one that actually gets shit done <laughs> this is this is true, but his shit's maybe just small fry because it's just his hobby for his suits. Whereas Reed is trying to save the world constantly. Hank Pym's coming up with new Ultrons and destroying the world. Doc Doom is just Doc Doom. He's quite happy to be. Well, he's a hero at the moment. I'm sorry if you guys are like reading comics and like I'm just shitting on everything that's current. <laughs> yeah, there'll be, there'll be people listening going oh man I'm going to get to that next week god damn you <laughs> maybe put heavy current sp- comic spoilers in the, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the yeah. comments sorry might have to might have to um, so yeah there he is he's, he's fifth on the list mm-hmm. well god damn uh, yeah. smart on the storm <laughs> I said that I said that right at the start yeah. yeah do you kind of feel like they've just moved Stark down a little bit because people would go Oh, if he's smarter than Stark, and I know Tony Stark, I better read about this guy. They've always had Spidey high up. He's always been intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Mm -hmm. How did you guys feel about Michael Keaton as the Vulture? Yeah, I liked him. I enjoyed his his performance. I thought it was quite good. It was a different take on the Vulture, because normally the Vulture's the ageing guy looking for basically de-aging stuff and using yeah, the technology yeah. to fund that and things like that. So it was a slightly different take on that, more grounded in reality this time. Yeah, I like the whole fact that he, the, the story at the beginning about how he lost everything and he blames it all on Stark. Um, to a certain extent, yeah. 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 And, and, it's, and it's really small scale, it's not like world domination or anything. Mm-hmm. All he's worried about is making some money and you know, his doing college. his thing. Really, that's yeah. probably about it. Yeah, Because he clearly dotes on his family. Oh yeah, totally, yeah. I, I really like that aspect of it, and mm-hmm. I kind of like the fact that it wasn't, um, you know, some mega rich guy, because mm-hmm. the, the vulture that I know, maybe it's different now, or maybe it's different a whole bunch of times, but he was uh, obviously this old feeble man who was mega minted, mm-hmm. but like Wilson Fisk or, mm-hmm. or Osborne or Stark, were, was, or I think all three of them were richer than him, and he couldn't keep up the pace, and then he resorts to... I think he used the vulture costume so he could go and try and find some way to get a de-aging serum or whatever. Or mm-hmm. I, I can't remember how, how it all all works out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the way they did it in the cartoon, the Spider-Man cartoon, because I always had the vulture. I always looked at the vulture and thought, this guy's a little, like, who, 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 who wants to be like this old man with the, the vulture suit, you know? Mm-hmm. Look, look, look crap. But in the cartoon, he would de-age and he had like that sweet, like... Um, that sweet armour with the robotic wings and everything, it looked cool in the cartoon anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought the way they had him in this film just really, really worked. Like you said, it made it more realistic. The fact that they had, um, I think I even asked a couple of weeks ago, how were they going to make him seem formidable when you've got Iron Man there? But they've got Chitari um, technology, Ten, yeah. so yeah. they're doing some pretty interesting things with that. Yeah, well, without a tinkerer. Yeah. Yes. Um, and without Avengers, this film wouldn't have existed, which I quite liked as well. Mm. Just that the wee tie-in right at the start to yeah. the continuity, so you knew roughly where it was sitting. Mm. Although I feel the times are slightly skewed now. No, yeah, you were, you were talking I'm to me about this because it's, it says eight years later. Eight years after so Avengers. Eight years, eight years movie world's passed, but it's only 
five years real world. Mm-hmm. Something like that. But there was something that I I definitely read something that confirmed that how it all lied, you know, in the timeline. Mm-hmm. So the cinema world technically is about two years ahead of real time now, which is really confusing. But right. Okay. Because so they try and keep it real time as they can, but they've obviously had to move things along a bit. The word on the streets Ragnarok is going to be set at the same time as Civil War, which helps explain why they weren't in Civil War. Yeah, so that's it's going to go back a little bit. And of course, Ragnarok should have been out now because that was originally slated for July mm-hmm. until they announced it was going to be Spidey Homecoming. Ah, so then it got pushed back, and then Black Panther got pushed back into February. I say it every time we mention it. I'm so looking forward to Ragnarok. Yes, I know. I'm proper. I think Ragnarok's going to be totally sweet. Mm-hmm. Like it's gonna have all the best bits about the Thor. The films. only other film that I think I I am looking forward to slightly more than Ragnarok, and it's just is Last Jedi. No, nah. for this year. I know you're not. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really. I did, well, this Last this Jedi. film is meant to be quite different. Apparently, this Last Jedi one from well, the characters are going on quite different journeys. So mm-hmm. yeah, be interesting. Um, you, you know a lot of Star Wars, mm-hmm. do you? Yeah, a little bit. So, um, can't tell from all that Star Wars stuff. That's not that much. Um, <laughs> and the fact Mark Hamill's your butler, you know, <laughs> up and up <laughs> towers, you know. or your giant two, three foot Darth Vader, <laughs> or your skinned Wookiee rug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you stand as balls. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's oh yeah, ow, ow, ooh. <laughs> I really liked Michael Keaton in this role. I like the fact they had this one shot just before he goes and robs Avengers Tower where he's sitting on top of a, a spire and he's got his wings wrapped around him and he, it was just like, mm. fucking hell, there's Batman. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and yes. he did the, there was another thing I was reading as well, how he did the, the, the moon shot. Like, um, I can't remember where it was in the film, but there was a scene where he was up in the air and it was behind the moon, he had the silhouette in the moon. Before oh, flying, right. Thing. Of course, he did that in the first Batman film in the Batwing. Went up Go straight up. Yeah, and then down. Uh, so it was like uh, and somebody, somebody thought down that the Joker that was, for the mini shot. It was a deliberate, uh, a deliberate uh, nod to there as well. They put that in. I didn't notice that, but mm. I like if I rewatch it back, I'll be like, I'll be like, oh yeah, there it is. Well, mm. I might actually I go can't see Spider-Man wait again. for this to come out on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. so excited already for seeing it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's yeah, so it's freaking good. Like. It's up there with Civil War. Well, I saw... Mm. I've seen Wonder Woman. You've not. No. You have. I'm not that fussed if you're going to spoil it. Mm-hmm. Well, I liked Wonder Woman quite a lot. Yep. I think possibly on second viewing, like like Transformers last night, I'll like it less. You went to see last night for a second night? No, I, like, like Transformers <laughs> last night. The last night. Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if I watch Wonder Woman again, yeah. I will like it. Put, I will like some things about it slightly less, and uh-huh. I think because I was just happy that it wasn't shit. Yeah. That it wasn't Suicide Squad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? that, so, that, that's like DC's measure of success. They're like, so what'd you think of the movie? Wasn't bad. Wasn't shit. Yes, it was less shit. That's so what, good. <laughs> do you know it's just by it's just taken over Guardians two in the states, and it was and it now looks almost guaranteed to be. The biggest hit of the well, the same the summer. It'll be the biggest hit of the year, bar um, Star Wars. Why? Wow. That's pretty good going. Spidey like. should it's had good Spidey legs. deserves to be. T- Spidey, 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 yeah, Spidey's I don't, I don't definitely think, better, but it's not going to yeah, do the money. It's not good enough. It's not going to do. I, I mean, it's, still, it's only at four hundred and ten worldwide now. It dropped sixty percent last Somewhere. week in uh, North America. Alone. Yeah, yeah, which is um, I don't big, say scary. It's but on it's, the bigger side. Yeah, whereas Wonder Woman's only falling between thirty and forty a week. Yeah, you know, it's, it's got a really slow decline. Yeah, it's it's. I just hope Wonder Woman get. I saw um, Gal Gadot gets paid properly mm-hmm, this time. Mm-hmm. Hope she makes some fucking bank next mm. because she was on. She was on a Chris Evans type, like as in only a couple hundred thousand. I think she got. Is that uh, all Chris Evans got as well. That's how he got for the uh, first Captain America. Uh, no. Yeah, it was, tri- it was only trivia. Three hundred fucking measly k. We, we I, thought it was two, it. I thought it was two hundred. Was it two hundred? It was really minute. It was like what, about, what, about Tom, what did Tom Holland get? I don't know. Let me see if I can find out. I don't know. Thing is, maybe you're gonna just take it, aren't you? You're just be like, yeah. okay, yeah. fine, fine, fucking. So because the role because and the exposure, yeah, it's gonna springboard you up. Yeah. So he, he after this, you know, if he goes off and does his own film, he'll be able to get one, two million just for 
rocking up. He'll probably get Easy. they all probably get paid apart from Robert Downey Jr. They all probably get paid more per film doing from other stuff. films yes. than they yeah. do in the, these films. This is like Scar Jo. She will definitely get more money doing whether it was Ghost in the Shell, Lucy, whatever. Um, than she will get for being Black Widow. Yeah, they'll Absolutely. be, they'll be, because they be can't, throwing 10 million at them. They can't sure. pay everyone in the MCU multi million per film. No. It just, it's not financially viable. So these people are. You've got to be a it's, team like player. One of these, it's like one of these ensemble films, like when they do the Oceans films. You know, everyone comes in and just has a laugh for a couple of hundred thousand and they just hang out with their mates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Not. You know, they, do it, they don't do it for the money. Yeah. They do it for the director or the story or and whatever. Exposure and exposure. Yeah, and it's a springboard. Um, and that's totally what it is with the MCU. No one's going to be rocking up in there. Bar obviously Downey when he re-upped because he then got some crazy like... I'm sure that 50 million. 50 odd for Iron Man 3, I want to say. I think so, yeah. But that's because it earned 1.2 billion and he got cut the profits. Yeah, yeah, So it wasn't yeah, yeah. like cash in hand. I mean, you think he still got something like 20 odd million or something crazy like that. But when you get a back-ended deal where you get like um, box office cut as well... Mm-hmm. Then you're in big money. But, but look at that. They, they get the Spider-Man gig of the whole thing and they're like, we need to get Robert Downey Jr. in there. Mm-hmm. He was in a lot less than what I originally thought he would be. I called it. You thought he wasn't going to be in that much? No. No. No, no. I thought the, the trailers yeah. were being misleading. Uh, yeah, it totally was because actually, other than what was shown in the trailers, wasn't it was, in that he, much. It wasn't in that much. No. Thought, yeah, yeah. And that, that, that's yeah. what I said. I yeah. think I may have said it on a podcast was the fact that he was in it it's a sort of starting point here's your suit go play kind of thing mm-hmm. and then no I'm, daddy's taking the suit off you junior mm-hmm. and then at the end and it was more about seeing what Spider-Man is going to be capable of with the suit at the start and then seeing what so Peter Parker of. yeah what what Spider-Man is capable of without the suit mm-hmm. and seeing him growing up and learning the lessons and things like that did you like the suit the Iron Man suit with the giant silver bit it was pretty cool. It's gold, isn't it? It's not black with gold lines around it. Oh, sorry, the Iron Man suit. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Iron my Man's apologies. Man, yeah. I like the silver. No, no I, I just like the silver bit. I like yeah. all the Iron Man suits, to be honest. They are, they just look so fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, they do. they do. I mean, if you've seen that in an exhibit someplace, right, and you had Cap suit, Thor suit. Iron Man's armor. Yeah, which one yeah. would you look at first? Yeah. And it wouldn't matter which armor it was. You'd be like, ooh, shiny. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. So, did you know it's... something about Cap's motivational videos? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hilarious. It's amazing. <laughs> right. Well, he's obviously wearing his Avengers gig. So, what they, were, what they were saying is like that he obviously filmed that just out after he was out in out of freezing. Yes. In the and they thought they could use him as a like what he was in the past. Doing exactly in the past, yeah. yeah he's super like hopeless. Government, it's government's like, going to use I just love the comment. Were, Pretty yeah. sure he's a war criminal now, but <laughs> we've yeah. got a show it. The state said so. <laughs> so play. watch this, yeah. And it's like, hey guys, we have it. Hey yeah, guys, saw so you're in detention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the best bit though. The best bit though is time to teach you an important lesson about. Patience. Patience. <laughs> Patience. That was oh, honestly. Everyone yes. started laughing their ass off yes, next yeah. time that. It's, yeah. it's, to be That's honest, hard. it's the most genius end credits yeah. scene you're going to get. Uh, I, d- I, always had a, I always had a feeling that one of them would be something like this. Mm-hmm. Kind of um, like what Deadpool done, but actually a bit more better. Yeah, Bearers. And, uh, Bearers, but yeah. my god, I didn't think it would be as good as that. Whenever they did that, uh, you know, we're going to play a trick back on you because you always stay to the end of the credits. Yeah, fucking knocked out of the park. I was loving it. Did it not seem like he was about to laugh himself? The yeah, whole time I he bet, delivered it. I, I, I bet. Yeah, I bet Evans himself was looking at this. Going, I bet this it was is his amazing. idea. Yeah, this is. I have a feeling amazing. it was his idea because yeah. he is a he is a joker. He's a, yeah. Oh, that's what Evans called it. See, see the suit he was wearing though. Mm-hmm. They covered his ears in it. Okay. Remember, I was complaining Ooh, about him not, not covering yes. his ears. Oh, I may have to get a picture. Cover his ears. Right, yeah. but Maybe so he didn't have to take all his piercings out. Yeah. You've never seen. I'd hate to be him in a lightning storm. His ears are metal. Eh? Yeah. Oh, you're shit. Making, you're going, making a fucking joke, you aren't you? Totally lost me as well now. I'm just talking shit. It just if I had to cover people's ears up. Well, in, Aven- in Avengers, he, in Avengers, in the end credit scene, he covered his face up because yeah, he had a mustache. Yeah, growing the beard. Yeah, or, yeah. It was the only reason I could think for covering someone's ears. Oh, okay, sorry, yes, right. I'm no, because they covered his ears in one of them. Yes, I've got you. Jesus, oh, I can't tell you how stupid or he's not funny. If I, would, if, I mean, honestly, if I described you guys as I thought you were, you would choke on your windows. Carry on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Window licking. 
Oh my god. You can't use spastics. You know what I'm going to say that outside? Out loud. Um, what do you mean spastics? Remember, Jesus! <laughs> it's not the 90s anymore, That's motherfucker. That's it, I'm out of here. <laughs> like you last Remember week. I was complaining about the Zers? And yes. Recently about the helmet. Yeah. Well, I've but I saw him with the the helmet that covered the ears, and I'm sure he had a different helmet that covered the ears as well. Mm. I decided that all the Captain America helmets look stupid. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was that was funny for you, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I was just thinking you, you don't <laughs> like them with the ears, you don't like them without the ears. Yeah, they've not managed to mold a decent looking helmet for them. I don't know what it is mm. that's wrong about it. It just looks like. There's been a lot like a of comedy rumb- helmet. There's been a lot of rumblings that he will not have the suit on, possibly at all, in Infinity War. I I think so. so what's well, he comic as Nomad? Is that what he's? Yeah, yeah he's called uh, Nomad. Yeah. Yeah. But, but as Nomad, he has like kind of like a. Oh, and he's got uh, like the mask with the hair got, coming out, right? It's been confirmed. He's got a beard, stubble, or certainly heavy stubble. Excellent. Uh, for Infinity War, I've definitely read that. Yeah. Okay. There's mm-hmm. a there's a modern day Rogers which looks. It's really strange at the moment in the secret again, current comic spoilers, man. <laughs> in the current storyline, the Secret Empire is where Cap is basically president of America. He's taken over America, a hostile mm-hmm. takeover mm-hmm. with Hydra. Mm-hmm. But there's another Steve Rogers that is turned up. Um but it's, what? it's <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird, right? It's like this side story, almost like a dream or something. I think it's in his conscience like in his mind. But it, it's not obvious, and it's it's a Steve Rogers wandering about, and he's he's got the like goatee, he's quite rough looking and that, and it's it's quite a cool look actually, quite suits him. Mm. Um, and he meets up with a a Bucky who's dead mm-hmm. and Sam Wilson, um, but they're not like superheroes; they're just people wandering about as well. So I think it's like a part of Steve's consciousness mm. in the background that's like trying to fight the. Cosmic Cube reprogramming. Yeah. Um, so maybe they'll go for that look. Yeah. Well, they'll have a. Um, the Cosmic Cube has rewritten history to make him a Hydra sleeper agent. Hmm. Red Skull did it. Oh, that's that one, right? Okay, fine. Current one, yeah. So very, very um, aye, so the, the end of Civil War. What else is the mean? Cosmic Cube in, though? It's not Marvel. There's some, the Cosmic Cube is in something else. Hmm. If you know, let us know. Let us know. Sorry, Steve. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. Um, at the end of Civil War, when he's breaking them out of the raft, he's in the civvies. Yeah. As well. Mm-hmm. So. because ah, he, he's yeah. pitched the shield and everything. Yeah. So I think he won't so, be Captain America in the next film. He'll be Nomad. No. Why? I, 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 I think he'll just be Steve Rogers. Steve Rogers, yeah. Not Agent, as as Agent 47? Agent 23? 47 is Sharon Carter. Yeah. No, that's 13. She's 13. Agent 13. 13. Yeah. Agent 47 is. Uh, is that's that not the short. Hitman? Uh, well, for, yeah, Agent 47's Hitman, actually. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. What's the. Is it not the short? Something. Do you know there was the Marvel shorts? The short films? I've got Marvel were, shorts, but Captain no, America no. shield and them. <laughs> take them swimming. The sh- right. The little mini films that they started making. So there is. There's Item 47. Is it Item 47? Item 47. Is that what it is? I think oh, so. Right. I've never right. seen it's it, right. but it's got. Um, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, it's where they find the. Sorry, but. Lizzie Kaplan in it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never seen it, but I know she's in it. Yeah, cool. Because I, I, I just, I, like I, I don't know why I've just thought Lindsay Fonseca all of a sudden. Mm. Mm. Lindsay. Okay, let's bring anyway, that guy. Sorry, yeah. Anything <laughs> else you really liked about the film? Cool. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Was that tangent? What didn't you like? Okay, well, we didn't really talk about that. Well, we kind of, we kind of went on to a little bit of what we didn't like Blitch, at the start. Splash. Yeah. Just at the very start, we were kind of like, I don't I like some of the castings because yeah. it kind of. It, it just felt That's like a little bit like they were like we okay. never talked about Anne May. Oh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Okay, Anne May. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I, I loved the bit at the end when she seen him in the suit and just like what the. F-? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yes, that's brilliant. I think it's it makes more sense that she's that age. Can yeah. you think about Anne May being like seventy. Yeah. No. And Peter yeah. Parker being. Being like 15 or whatever. 15. No. It's never made, never, it doesn't actually make any sense at all. Yeah. You know, it'd be quite cool if she like came home in one of the films and be like, oh, I've just been on a date. Oh, what was his name? Oh, because Aunt May was dating her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just little things like that. Well, I think they could do shit like that. Yeah, they totally could. It's, they've actually got a way, more, they can do way more with Aunt May Young. Mm hmm. May Young. <laughs> um, than you can with her old. <laughs> No idea wait, 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 w
<laughs> you don't know what we're talking about, do you? Nope. It's a wrestling thing. It's okay. It's okay, folks. <laughs> if you if you know what we're talking about, send Steve some uh, images, some of, me images of me young and the hand. Okay. Then he'll understand, yeah? Yeah, let's, 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 You're gonna do it now. I see this. Is this some awful thing like the You can't play it though, you can't actually play it. No. Because no, of the I sound and everything. Um then Mega take it down. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I think the I think Aunt May works really well on this. Yep. Um Did you see the number plate in her car? I actually no, I didn't I read about it because no one's hardly anyone's gonna pick that up and watching it. Uh, the number plate in her car was AMS fifteen sixty two. Amazing Spider-Man, uh-huh. number 15 from 1962. If it was AMS, right, it's, it's not. AM, uh, what AMS, AMS is Alan Michael Sugar. <laughs> 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 Spoil my trivia, man. <laughs> Fuck you. What was it, ASM what? ASM 1562. That was so, the number plate of a car. You know the bank? The yeah, bang so 62 was when yeah. the first one 1962, came out. Yeah. And it was... 15... Was it 15. Tales of Fat... Some amazing fantasy or something like that. Yeah, uh, issue fifteen was his first. Oh, episode. was it issue fifteen? Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was. Um, I've got. I've got the, the one, canvas. The up, one, like a big canvas of that first issue up and it was oh, like, like tales of the unexpected or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, whatever one he first appeared in. Has anyone got an original? No. I think no. I actually no. do. No. You've got an original. An original oh, sorry, an original a, a, a reprint. reprint. Yeah, an original reprint. An original from like nineteen ninety five or something. I've got an original. Is it number thirteen? I've got. First appearance in Mysterio. Oh, yeah, right, uh, okay. Slapped. <laughs> wow. I'll bring it. I'll need to bring it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, bring it. Nice. Remind me. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh signed by Stan Lee as well. So when he dies soon. Whoop. Whoop. Jesus. Is, Sal, you... is he on your list? Uh, not my list. What? What do you mean? I don't have a list. Was that no? Well, I thought it was you that was doing everything that happened Death last list. year. <laughs> You're, I think you killed celebrities last year so you could... No. <laughs> was, was that not part of the Illuminati thing you had to do to get all the celebrities then you could afford this this, this um, extension extension <laughs> <house>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay anything we, we didn't like then um, can I go back to shocker stuff? pointless yeah, mm. the shocker was kind of pointless and also it I think it was I, I like the other actor that was playing the shocker better than the actor guy. that became yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like the, the new oh, guy yeah, was, like, was kind oh, of like I thought that was the uh, and you grab it gun yeah. <laughs> he it. the new guy he was, I've seen him in one, one or two other things one yeah. thing I saw him in for sure was the Total Recall reboot oh, okay. oh dear and he was shit in that mm. um, I just thought it was pointless to kill off one and make the other one yeah. Him, it yeah. kind of felt like, oh, we need to. He he's still by the way. He wasn't killed off or anything. No, he could but he used potentially. He seemed thought, pointless. I, yeah, it was almost a case of too many villains. I was a bit worried about it was going. Well, to be I think they alluded to track. like a Sinister Six kind of setup. Well, they did because they got mm-hmm. Matt Gargan. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and we were going to talk about it earlier. I'm and totally it, and it yeah. seemed like they had. I thought I saw something that looked more like Doc Ox. Tentacles. No, somebody else man. said that to in, me. In the lorry, I said it to you. Yeah, yeah, I said Get that. In the lorry, Lion the lorry. Yeah. yeah, I was convinced yeah. of that, but then I thought, yeah. is it maybe the scorpion's tail? Could be either. Could be, Could be either. Because really I thought that's what he was trying to steal yeah. and to yeah. help Matt Gargan yeah. and give him a, a suit or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But in terms of the too many villains, I don't think it, I think he was clearly obviously a noob villain. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him. There's pictures of him with the mask on. But you never see him with a mask on. Yeah. So it's they obviously they've obviously had things they were trying to do with Spider Man. They had Spider Man saving a whole bunch of different women, one of which had red hair, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, it's MJ!" Mm. And then that doesn't happen at all in the film. Yeah. There's yeah. pictures of the Shocker dressed up with the, the Shocker mask. That doesn't happen at all. And I, 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 one thing I did find weird is that they have the conversation in the car, Tom Holland and Michael Keaton. Okay, and Michael Keaton's like, "Listen, bro, just." Forget forget about me. Just go and show my daughter a good time, not too good a time, <laughs> and that's it. Parker goes in and he's like, "Ah, fuck, gotta go do the, the thing." Runs out, and then the shopper's waiting for them. How? How would he have got there in within like five minutes? Because mm, yeah, because Michael Keaton only figured it out in, in the, the drive. drive. Yeah. So unless he was like come to blah, 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 found him or something like that mm-hmm. but you need to see something yeah. for that to be viable yeah, mm-hmm. so I was kind of like do you Never know what that. that's kind of bullshit yeah. also also another bit that was kind of bullshit was um, 
when Spider-Man, if you want me to find a fault in I will find it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a near perfect film, but here I go. Right? Here warmed I go. up, warmed up, lads. Warmed up, man, <laughs> honestly. Why well, think there's been so many Mrs. Buff Geeks in through the years <laughs> and keep on getting chucked out. <laughs> it's just, you're standing there and she's just like, what are you doing? It's like, finding your faults. <laughs> and there we go. You yeah. opened your mouth, that's the first one, right? <laughs> you're still breathing. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> Am I a murderer now? What the fuck? Oh, Jesus! Dear. I never finished the sentence. Breathing the same air as me in this room. Get out. There's two. Okay. Is that better. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. He have went you, have full. You, have you actually heard me break up with someone? Just a couple of times. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you put the break in break up. Arm gone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know you're just reaching for jokes today so in the last, in the last two minutes he's, he's accused you of being a murderer you crossed, I the, beer. I beer. <laughs> you crossed the line earlier I didn't cross the line <laughs> what window letters There's no what you said <laughs> after <laughs> it's plastic mind you I, I inadvertently you crossed made the, it happen I inadvertently crossed the line last week I with the human torch joke oh my god oh, oh Jesus Christ <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal <laughs> He almost blew the speaker there. <laughs> oh, oh my dear, yes. Right, if, well, if you want to listen yeah. to it, if you want to know, you have to listen back. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> the other thing, the other fault I found in the film yes. was when Peter Parker goes, well, dressed as like Spider Noob, mm-hmm. goes to grab the vulture, and the vulture kind of, the, the wings circle and the thing falls mm-hmm. on him and whatever, right? He webbed him. Webbed his hand to the table. It didn't last for and two hours. It didn't last for two hours. Uh-huh. Or and if it did, then and it's because it was different web fluid. Because it was it wasn't the Stark web fluid. Ah, uh, could have been that. That could be answered that way. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, but you need to show that in the film. You he did. He was yeah, wearing was a different suit. Now remember, kids, you need to show you're working. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He had a hoodie on. Mm. Well, he, he's the one that creates the web fluid. It's not Stark that creates web fluid. But yeah, there was they different. They show you that in the thing science, is, him doing it in the drawer. Yeah, but there was different web combination fluid combinations. So the suit was. Yeah, but the fluid, um, the, the webbing would be would be a certain. Shut size up! Of just it would come out in a different way. I don't know. Yeah. Like my webbing is the same strength it always is. It just depends how I want to utilize it. Yeah. Pow! Pow! Blast, pow! Blast it against the roof. There. Yeah. Go. Exactly. <laughs> It's oh, just lucky no. that I'm not single, because then no woman would date me after hearing the things you say about me. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're into that rough shit, ladies, and uh, if you are. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> if you want spunk bursting through you and out the top of your skull, yep, yep. What the like fuck is this? <laughs> you need to, you need to just... Bump spunk. Oh my gosh, you need to... What, so you say I'm like Superman? <laughs> He's over <here. laughs> Oh, you were just trying to pop him the whole time? Maybe. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Jeez. Like, you, need to, you need to stop, okay? You need to stop before I get lifted. He's just started. He's away. I know he's away, but you need to stop trying to pop we him. Just stare at him. <laughs> oh, my gosh, jeez. No, right, let's get back on. What are we talking about? <laughs> no. Usa. <clears throat> what film? Oh, he's got it! He's good! Yeah, he's good. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. folks. Probably really boring for you there, but it would have been worth it if it happened. You know. You know. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> yeah, everyone yeah, back at this. But when you're listening happening. back, yeah. you'll be absolutely dying. You'll be like, did I manage to hold it back? You'll, you'll be grinning and chuckling. Stop, stop going so close to the damn thing. Stop hitting me. I didn't hit you. I just physically moved you. Stop touching me! <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> When I try, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, so, also, I can't be around children now. Thanks, David. You've completely crucified my character. Right, well, anyway. You know what? You don't want to be around children anyway, so this is saving you the effort. That's true. I don't want to be around them. Um, yeah, so that's that's two things I noticed that bothered me. I also didn't like the, the, the explosion at the end. Like, when the vulture... The plane crash. Hmm? The plane crash. No, when the vulture is his picking up the yeah. and his suit pops, it just looks like I was like, it was kind of like a, 
That was the end of their CGI budget. Yeah. Because Spider-Man requires a lot of CGI. For well, it must have been. That and, the, um, that and the laser gun that they used on the, sh- on the boat. The laser mm. gun. They should have said, they should have ha- shown him turning the dial down. Because he shot things off like the guy's hand to free him and he, sh- he shot very like very weak concussive blasts. Mm. And It overloaded though. It, re- it overreacted to the... That was the point. It was, it was... But it cut through a building earlier on in the film. So you, you should have sh- they should have shown that you can change the, 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 the power of the gun. Oh, so it did, yeah. With the ATM heist. Uh-huh. Yeah. So those are the three things that fucked me off, apart from yeah. the fact that I felt like they were they were only only casting certain demographics at certain times. They, it wasn't an open casting. It was like, we must have someone of colour for this one. We must have someone for this one. Did you ever watch Extreme Ghostbusters, the cartoon series? It was like, it was, it was a sort of reboot of the Ghostbusters franchise. I never watched it, no. I will look up the the cast for you because they basically done the exact same thing. The cast, you know what I mean? The characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they done the exact same thing and you, you basically touch every base in one go. And like Captain Planet. Captain yeah, Planet, absolutely. Totally yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, that didn't feel like they were doing it because they you, you were being told you need to do this. That mm. felt like they, it made sense. Yeah. But do you know some of these things just don't feel quite genuine? They just had one on every continent, did they not? That was yeah. just the general. Yeah. So you've got the guy in the wheelchair, you've got a woman, you've got the sort of Hispanic kind of guy and a black guy. See? Wow. Yeah. And you've got was a green, a green floaty dude? thing. Why uh, dude Egon. No white, no Egon was their mentor. Oh, Egon. Oh, okay, right, right. Oh, so he wasn't one of the Ghostbusters. He was just one of the old schoolers. Right? Yes. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, that, it's that like, does seem very. Speaking PC. of Ghostbusters, the the, the female Ghostbusters seemed it. like a stun. Mm. Seemed like a you know, and a little bit. It seemed like a bit of a. Was that the film that Chris Hemsworth probably should have got top billing for? Absolutely, <laughs> just that bit. Male. But I bet he got. Oh, <laughs> I bet he got paid the most. Oh, possibly. Dear. I bet he got paid mm-hmm. the most for that yeah, film. And I think he had a pretty good time as well, from what I. Red and not seen. Why was he smashing? No, 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 no. I just meant he was just having fun and said, God, all right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so anyway. that's the only things that I found problems with in the film. I thought there was a couple of continuity errors. I thought that you know, there's uh, some obvious um, like form check checklisting of mm-hmm. certain things. For certain casting decisions, not that I'm saying any of them did a bad job in any way, because they're mm-hmm. all really good, mm-hmm. except from I, I'm going to well, choose. Flash. I'm going to choose to assume that kid was a not the, not Flash Thompson mm. as a good annoying role, and yeah. a good you know for whatever role he was meant to do, he was good at it, but he's not Flash Thompson, mm-hmm. and she ain't MJ. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know if you guys were anything. I, I, I agree on this point. That point, to be honest, um, overall, it was a really fun film. It was just, I know, I know there was things like if you didn't know Spider Man lore, if you didn't know who Flash Thompson was meant to be, for example, I wouldn't have had a fuck, would it? No, no, yeah, it would have worked. And so, so all the newbies, like all the kids that are coming to see this now, that they're, you know, they'll be bringing he, in a new generation of Marvel. He fans is Flash Thompson now. And I just want to say, I, I've not got any problems with diversity no, no, before no, someone yeah. gets all funny about that. Yeah. I just sometimes I it can feels just, forced. I can smell the mm-hmm. the forceness I can smell that yep we tick that one yeah, yeah you know we covered that base there mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you know whatever um last one uh, the scene where he was stuck in the warehouse and he was wasting time oh, oh brilliant uh, we hadn't mentioned it as so, ch- funny. so funny so he's chatting for so, ages yeah, yeah, so, how long have we been oh, here yeah. Karen yeah. 37 minutes yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell I got get out here <laughs> Oh, it was good. I was quite just swagging about with the suit with the, the blazer on. And I think I think that's part of again, Tom Holland was able to carry the film completely on his own at times. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, just you know, and well, that, that seems quite typical of it because it's just him. Yeah, and he's on screen for a good chunk of time there. Yeah, that's yeah. a good couple of minutes. That whole that whole section of just him. How yeah. ripped is he, by the way? Oh, major rip. He must be the most in shape cast member in terms of just body fat to muscle. Mm-hmm. Ratio. Yeah, no. I well, if he if he did Billy Elliot on stage for yes. a long time, that's a lot of effort. You'll you you'll lose weight automatically. Anyone does a dance. Well, he, he's trained. He must be yeah. a trained dancer. So yeah. I mean, that's yeah. 
to be good enough to be on a London Broadway stage, yeah. Broadway, you, you don't West End stage, <laughs> London Broadway. Sorry, <laughs> uh, to be good enough to be on West End, you've got to be top of your game. Yeah. yeah, you can't turn up and be like, "I'm an average dancer. I'm a really good actor." They'd be like, "Next." Yeah, yeah, you got to be amazing at both. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I mean, I saw Rent, um, the in, West End version, mm-hmm. in in Edinburgh. Uh, it's one of them. Six months ago, three, mm-hmm. four, four months ago, whatever it was. And all the dancers, every single one of them, was like ripped. Mm-hmm. Apart mm-hmm. from Maureen, and she actually, whoever played Maureen, she actually represented us in the uh, Eurovision Song Contest. But I didn't like her, I thought she was a bad Maureen, just saying. Anyway, if anyone was getting those references, that's good. But but you're right, they, they were all like, <laughs> apart from her, they were all ripped to shreds. And <laughs> mm-hmm. like dancing about like crazy, the dance numbers they were doing. Mental, then acting, then singing. Like mm-hmm. I've never seen Billy Elliot, and I, you know, I'll probably never watch it. No. Just I just don't give a fuck, you know. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> it's just it's, it's 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 happened. It's just I've got no reason to go back to watch yeah. it. There's yeah. like a million things in front of it I want to watch. Yeah. It'd be a bit weird seeing Ben Grimm going around doing his t- pirouettes and plies and stuff, anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. don't know what you're saying. I presume the guy who played Billy Elliot also plays Ben Grimm in the new Fantastic Four. Jamie which, Bell. I don't know who Jamie Bell is, what he looks like. He's in Snowpiercer. You should watch Great. Snowpiercer. <laughs> how did you manage to get that in twice in one How is it? <laughs> He's in Snowpiercer with the other, other Johnny Storm. Yes. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. It's pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a very... Uh, and the, the ancient one. Tilda Swinton. Yes. Hmm. Is this like a Marvel... Tilda Swinton is the only person... Sorry, is the only woman that should have played Doctor Who. I, I was rooting for Charlie Hunnam. Oh, for fuck fuck's sakes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes. You get it in nearly everyone. God damn it. Yeah, Charlie Hunnam. I hate him. I just don't hate him. Occasionally I'll see like a magazine and he'll be on and I'll, I'm just wanting to like... You just want to rip it off the shelf. <laughs> Take it home. <laughs> Bludge over it. and. <laughs> That would just be you. Oh, In fact, do you know what I'm going to buy you for? Uh, it's your calendar. Birthday? It's like no, it's calendar. Oh, Better still. Then. No interested. Better still. No, you will. You'll be interested. Queer as Folk season one. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's got him and Aidan Gillen in as well. Yep. Little finger. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So it does. You He's do- like the main dude, right? Yeah. No way! Wow! I don't even watch this. <laughs> And that's a very good lead into what your next podcast will be. Indeed it is. But dun, first of all, we need to do our individual yeah. roundups. So. Yeah, so someone else start. Round up, <laughs> round up, round up, okay. round up, round up, I'll round s- up, round up. I suppose the round up would be Tom Hod is amazing. Yeah. I worry that he's too fucking, he's too good. <laughs> that's my only worry. He is basically perfection in this role. Mm-hmm. And the guy seems like a great guy as well, which mm-hmm. is cool. Um, Michael Keaton was brilliant as a vulture. The end credit scene, you kind of yes. like. Maybe he's maybe he's going face. Maybe he's a tweener. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe he just wants to see him for himself. But it made yeah. it a little bit interesting. I think I don't think he's going face. I think he's just respecting. It's like you save my life, I'll save yours. With yeah. that one thing, that's the only thing he'll do for Parker is protect his identity. More to the point, how is he going to know that Parker ain't hanging around with Liz? So if someone's trying to kill Peter Parker... Uh, Liz and his mum's moving away. Yeah but, away. yeah, but that doesn't mean to say that, that he won't meet her and just have, like, yeah. bad karma. Yeah, or but his wife call it. Yeah. And, what? Yes, exactly. Um, and then, randomly, Matt Gargan sends some boys after Peter Parker and they're like, oh, he's got this girl. We can go use her as leverage to... You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so maybe, he's, maybe it's just protecting him because of that. But yeah, I like the fact true. you're like... Mm-hmm. He saved my life, so I'm gonna save his type yeah. thing. Um, I I didn't I didn't like the end fight. I just thought that the way the suit went out. Why did the suit fall apart? Like, I didn't, why, what suit? Why did the vulture suit, suit blow up? I didn't get. They reacted to the. It wasn't arcs. the suit that was blown up. Is that a whole bunch of arcs? Yes. Right. Uh, ah, that was it. The Chitari mm. tech was overreacting to the arc reactors. Um, it, they were overloading them basically. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it was a crappy explosion. But then it only it was only meant to be a one person explosion, really. Yeah, that's true. Well, Duncan, who I went to see it with, studies um, engineering, and he was like, actually, what would have happened 
if it was overheating and reacting badly is it would have just smoked and then cut out. Oh. So I was like, so they basically did a real, oh, realistic with version. Earth technology. This is Chitauri stuff. Though. I know, but I mean, if so, yeah, yeah. so take your Earth engineering, yeah. mm-hmm. shove it. No, well, if you were, if we're trying Civil to Civil or our... structural. I didn't see that. Um, the obviously there's two versions of the vulture wings in the film, which I Was didn't realise from the yeah. There's there the one with pointy bits at the top. Well, yes, yeah, so that's the, the you know when you keep talking about the high altitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the way through it, right? And at the end, he goes to Tinker. Right, meaning that high altitude suit. Mm-hmm. It's actually a slightly different suit. He's uh-huh, got I thought it was modifications. No, it's a different one because what you see just be- before, so before you, that bit happens, um, I think it's been Parker's in the way, I'm not too sure. Yes. You can see that ripped out, like it doesn't have the arcs in the old wings. The wings are like half salvaged because he's taken what he needs to put into the new set. Ah, oh, so the right. Vulture himself got an upgrade He'll come back. in one film. Yeah, so he can come back with a power source and get his old wings back. Uh, could do yeah. yeah could do what do you think of the choice for the I don't know who played Matt Gorgon maybe you could figure that out for me but have you seen him in anything else because I've seen him in Better yeah. Call Saul and he's a really fine actor like he's oh, got good. a lot of good range like, he can he almost felt like he was kind of playing like I'm villainous ha oh, twirly mustache <laughs> like I, I hope they, they do more with that actor because he I think they're gonna. I think, but I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna almost have like tiers of villains. So they're gonna have so many of these sort of villain characters that Parker will deal with them slightly easier than Pencil say here. like a full film based on one villain kind of thing. If that makes sense. So they're not gonna be as powerful, but there is gonna be a multitude. More, yes, I suppose if they had like a couple of villains here, a couple of villains there, then suddenly you've got serious respect. But yeah, working together rather than like Parker's going to fight Sandman and then he's going to go off and fight Venom. You know, it's going to yeah. be he's fighting Shocker and Scorpion, he's fighting Scorpion and Vulture or whatever. He's well, going to technically we had we had three villains. Well, if you're going to put the Tinker in as well, four. But mm-hmm. he's, so you've got three decent villains in Shocker, Vulture, and Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah, so, already. Mm-hmm. This guy's called Michael Mandel. Yeah, he's um, so. Other than Homecoming and Better Call Saul, there's not much of this other stuff that he's been in that I know. All right, well, he he deserves enough. to do well. He's got some good range. And um, we're going to yeah. So I can't think I kind of went on a wee tangent there we of, did, of, yeah. of the <laughs> anyway, basically. Oh, shit, that's totally just about it. all the cast were, were freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, notwithstanding the small problems that I said there was in the film, um. It's almost it's almost a perfect film. Yeah, it's up there for me. It's up there with Civil War and Logan. I don't know if it's quite Logan for me, mm. but it's really it is really good. So from my perspective, I'm going to give it a. Nine. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to give it a nine. I'll go an eight and a half. I think. You go for an eight and a half. Bit shorter. I'm actually just a way to check. Uh, what are you waiting to check? I was going to check what, I'd done, what we had before from all the movie news and reviews and stuff like that because I, I kind of want it to be my second film. But we'll review that next week. Um, I'm going to give it a, a solid nine. I cannot wait to watch this film again. And maybe if I watched it twice and this was the second view and I'd be like, eight and a half, I've just been caught up in the hype a bit. But no, solid nine. It felt like Iron Man for me. It felt like the first Iron Man. Just a good solid, just superhero film. Solid as fuck. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good laughs. Good CGI. Good cat. <gasps> Pepper at the end. Oh, it was uh, great. And that—that that was them going and getting engaged. So that was. That's, that's quite cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, they basically they've set up an out for Tony Stark yet again. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, "I'll be in this film if you give my cat turn out." Steve. Banana, na 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 rating. Oh, he's done it. Do eight and a half. Oh, so he did. Yeah, did it, man. You, uh, you, you said nine, phone. right? Yeah, yeah. So we got nine, nine, eight and a half. Mm-hmm. What's the so, average out of between the? Well, we'll just take your two's at nine. Twenty-six. Keep, right, it okay. as, keep it the same as. Keep it the same as all. So eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Well, um, God damn. Yeah. So actually, we'll we'll do that next time and round up. Right, so we've got 18 for that one. Yep. 18 out of 20. Which it's, 18 and a half was Avengers and 19 was Civil War. So it's the th- it's top uh, three. It's, it's got to be top be a joint three. third, but it's third anyway. 
We're going to fight it out next week anyway. But next week, we're going to be uh, trying to hash out where the films actually sit. Yes. We're going to basically have to recap the whole the whole gig. So if you've got preferences, you've got lists, send them in. They may influence mm-hmm. our decisions. Yeah, indeed. If you're like, do you know what, you guys, you got this film all wrong. This one, you yeah. can put some more love into it. You don't have to reasons. put the whole 14 together. Yeah, are you doing do. just the 14 or are you doing Guardians and Spidey as well? Guardians, Guardians and Spidey. Guardians and Spidey. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to change mine now. Yeah. I've just done the original yeah. 14. Yeah. So okay. Kev, Stu, Steve, you guys are listening. Send them in. Not me. Yes, you. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> Ian, because he won't be here. Are you listening, Ian? No, no, no response. No response okay. at all. Yeah, so we're going to need everyone... To Drop us a line and let us know what they're thinking about that yep. because well, it's just going to be me and you fighting out. Yeah, next time that's going to turn nasty, isn't seriously, it? Seriously, guys, just notes on your phone. Next time you're sitting on the shower, instead of looking at Pornhub, just type up a few wee notes. Order you, you them. You can't do a shit and watch Pornhub because you keep slapping off the inside of the fucking <laughs> toilet. Pan. Well, I, yeah, sorry. That's when <laughs> that I sit down for a shit and it's dipping in the water. Like, that's my bit, <laughs> <you know? laughs> you had to go with it. Oh, oh no. fuck it hell. Right. <laughs> That's why I wear socks to keep my head warm. <laughs> <laughs> Steve nearly died. Almost died. Can you guys believe that yeah. we've done all of them? I, 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 I kind of. When I, I first said to you two weeks ago in Civil War, it's, it's actually been a bit of tough sledding. Not because it's not enjoyable, but the continual week after week after week after week mm-hmm. after week, having to find somewhere a slot in a film, and this is this is easily going to be the longest series of films we will do. There's no. The, not it's an unfinished series. Mm. Not even Harry Potter can touch it. No, Nothing can touch can it. Touch me. But well, we're at sixteen already. There's certainly going to be. At least and there's going to be a seventeenth this year. Four or five more. Every yeah, MCU more film that comes it. after this, we just have to review that one. <sighs> yeah. We've made our life very easy. Easy, yeah, a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really easy. Big outlay at the we, start. We need. We need to. We need to try and get them. I'd, I'd say like pretty soon. No. Get them like when, like when Thor Ragnarok comes out. We go that see day. Opening day. Oh, yeah. we need to be yeah. start doing opening day shit for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We We've basically done all the heavy lifting. I was mm-hmm. supposed to actually X Men's probably longer. All the different types of X Men films. Think even if you bring in Deadpool and will be films uh, on only X Men, you're still maybe only three, 10. six, nine, ten. Yeah, you are at ten. So you're still six short. Go for it. He's going for a pee. Go for a pee <laughs> before we finish, eh? He's crying because. Get my hoodie. Oh, you cold? Oh, he's going home. Oh, because I always keep the windows all yeah, open. Yeah, I'm you... starting to get a bit chilly. See, I, I, I run Gotta hot. Gotta keep these muscles warm. <laughs> um, Love muscles. So next week, yeah, fucking hell, we're going to r- round that all up. Gonna have a big old... Yeah, good luck, you guys. Geek <laughs> fight. And, and next, we're going to do Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 1, and that's going to be our weekly review... For the next seven or eight weeks. And then we're doing DC? Uh, yeah, I think I think I said you're going to do DC you're ready for Justice League in November. And then Well I think we'll be having Thanks, Spike. Can, can, can you can you check uh, check the calendar there and let, yeah. tell me if um if your timings are on. If my timings are right for getting DC and then getting right, so this order thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 31st of August will be the last Game of Thrones. Right. Which means you've got September free, technically. So yep. what are we going to go into? Man of Steel, BVS, Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad. Ah, Wonder Squad. Woman again. Wonder Woman. Right, so oh, that's only shit. four. And that gets us ready for Justice League. That's, 20, that's only, we're only the 28th of September. So you've still got then the whole of October that's free before Ragnarok lands in November. Or what you get cool. a week at about And then I we, bet I'm on we, holiday when Ragnarok lands. Can we do Star Wars? No, really? Really? I bet I am. Can we do Star Wars? No, as in, are we... Prior to The Last Jedi, can we fit all Star Wars films in? Uh, ah. We then need... We, <laughs> so, we okay, need, next year we're doing X-Men and so Harry we Potter. we only need seven, the way. Harry Potter? I've still got to go through DC. Maybe. One, and two, Star three, four, Wars. five, six, seven. Because we'll, we'll, probably get it. we'll probably get it about the 15th of December. Yep. So that's seven weeks there. Bet you guys are thrilled by this. Episodes. Or you want Rogue One as well and... Yep. Oh shit, so how many weeks do we need? Eight. Eight. So if you cut horror season short, yeah, thanks. Okay. Um, you've got a couple of weeks to play with, but yeah, we can fit it all in. Let us know what you think of our schedule and if we should do it in any way. <laughs> this would be fantastic. Sorry, you've had to listen to that. Where are we at now? An hour and I'm Yes, I'm, I'm trying to wrap right. up. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going home. Okay. Well, I want these guys to be able to chime in. Although Certainly. we've probably talked about it a million times. 
I think every episode for about the last five. <laughs> no. We've been talking about Can the someone just let <laughs> us know and put us out of our misery? <laughs> Can someone schedule it for us? You can get right. us you on all social saying, media, right? as usual. <laughs> You can find us on the Buff Geek Podcast blog dot wordpress dot com as well. You can find me at D Stoby. Most social media is David Stoby. There's only a couple of us in the world. You'll find me. Over to yous. Okay, Steve, you want to do your thing? Uh, you get me on Facebook and Instagram, Stephen Housewrath, and you'll get me on Twitter at Wise Branker. Just think, the first time he went, ah, ah, because I wasn't ready, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to write it down for week two. <laughs> It's just like a startled frog, eh? (laughs) (laughs) Couldn't quite get there. We have heard that before. Story mind. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) You can find me, him, us, all at The Buff Geek on all social media. Hashtag The Buff Geek Podcast. Hi, I'm Captain America, and I want to talk to you about the virtue of patience. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, you suck, Steve. <laughs> well done, folks. Well done. <laughs>